what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so I've been going for a couple weeks you know I had to get my mind together but I'm back okay so today we are going to print a little person's shirt today my son's shirt it's a 5t so before we do that I'm going to show you guys how to purchase files from um, what was it Etsy purchase files from Etsy and then I'm gonna show you how to download them and then upload them onto Cricut Design Space yeah so we're gonna go on Etsy purchase some files and we'll go from there so let's get to it Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and log into Etsy and let's search for some files. <clears throat> so because this is my son's shirt, he is really into, um, he's into dinosaurs, he's into Toy Story, he's into cars, he's into pretty much whatever the little the little jits are into these days so um i'm gonna show you how i found the files that i've already um purchased and downloaded but we're gonna go step by step so that you guys can get the gist of you know how to do it yourself okay so look at it i like this one right here all right so with this file right here you have 400 clip art SVG files and instant download toy story for PNG printable images for shirts, birthday invitations, SVGs, Cricut Buzz, Woody, so on and so forth. Okay, so basically um, you want to look over and make sure that um, it has the things that you want because you don't want to purchase something and then it doesn't have what you, you know, what you want. So uh, this is actually, this is the exact one that I purchased. So, okay. So what you want to do is look over, you know, the, the, um, the description, make sure it has the things that you need. Uh, let's see. Yep, it has all of that. The hot, make sure that your quality is at 300 um, DPI. DPI means dots per inch, which is basically a higher quality um, file that won't be pixelated or uh, uh, grainy or blurry or anything like that. So you want to make sure that you always have a high quality um, image to work with and the transparent backgrounds um basically that's what a png file is it's just a image that is pretty much cut from the background and giving you the ability to place it wherever um seamlessly so that you don't have anything distracting in the background so that's what the transparent background is um and then it says we have 20 bonus svgs which is great because you know who doesn't like extra stuff? Um, and this is ready and tested for Cricut and Silhouette Machines. Perfect. Um, it also has letters and numbers uh, in the Toy Story font, which is perfect as well. We don't have to go look for that. And then it says not a physical item, digital files only. So basically it's just letting you know they're not going to mail you anything. It's, it's a digital file that we're going to download right here. Um, on the computer. Um, let's see, it says so many fun ways to use digital files, t-shirt decals, scrapbooks, web design, craft projects, birthday parties, invitations, and more. Great. That's exactly what we need. Okay. And it's going to give you directions on how to download and um, so on and so forth. So I have already purchased this Actually, I'm going to show you so that you can see for yourself that I have already purchased this. So as you see, I have already purchased all of these files. And what we're going to do is 
um, it allows you right here to download the files. So that will be the only thing. So say, for instance, you purchase just this file, you will still have the same option and it's just a download file. So I have already downloaded all of these files already, so I'm not going to do it a second time. But what you would do is just click on download files and it will download directly to your downloads folder. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my folder. All right. So in here, as you can see, my files are already, um, I have already uh, extracted, <coughs> excuse me, extracted them from the zip file that they come in and I um, put them in their folders. Okay, so now we have everything set and ready to upload into Cricut. So let's go ahead and find our images that we want to use. Go ahead and go into Cricut and select new project. And we're going to go right over here to the left hand side where it says upload. Click on that. And as you already know, I've um, I had already uploaded this stuff because somehow I misplaced the entire video of me doing this. So I'm actually right now doing it again. So with that, my images are already here. But what you would do, you would go and click on right here where it says upload image. Actually, I'll just go ahead and take you through that part since... Um, if you're new to Cricut or a beginner, um, you'll know what to do. So when you push that upload, you're going to browse your computer. And of course, what it's going to do is pull up your file folders and you want to go to downloads and click on that folder that has your images in it. Okay, so we're going to go down to the ones that we selected, which was the, the, um, the characters all together. And also this Toy Story logo right there. And where is it? This image right here. Okay. That image right there. Look how clean that looks. That looks great. Okay, and then what you would do from this point is just click open. And then what it's going to do is um, pull it into your uploads. So since we've already done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one. And right here on the right hand bottom side, it's going to be a green button that says add to canvas. So let's go ahead and do that. sign so we need to go in and change the size so Cricut allows you to um, print up to nine inches and I think it's like 9.25 so let's go ahead and put that in here now 9.25 by 6.75 Okay, so as you can see, this is the size that um, Cricut allows us to print. Okay, so with that being said, if you go above that, you're going to get that caution sign. So that would remind you, hey, I need to go in and fix um, my size because it's not going to allow me to print anything bigger than that okay so there we have it we have our guys our characters all together so now we got to go ahead and upload our logo the toy story logo 
And like I said before, I had already uploaded it. So it's right here. And I'm going to click Add to Canvas. And again, with this, it had the same option as Cut or it had the um, Print and Cut. So, and I chose Print, then Cut. Okay. So again, we have that caution sign. So we want to go ahead and fix the size of this guy. And I'm using the largest size possible just because I want my image to uh, cover the entire shirt in the front. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And let's align these guys like that. I kind of want to bring that down a little bit more. Uh, yeah, let's see. Probably like that, maybe. All right, and align. Just And I'm doing this only because I want to see what it will look like. Okay, so yeah. This oh, is, this right here. Yeah. Shh, shh. So this right here is what the T-shirt is going to look like. And this is going to, because these this is the largest size possible, the 9.25 by 6.75, we're going to cut these um, separately because, it, again, it only allows you to cut this size right here. And to all together, it will be way too big. So it'll be 9.25 by 11.833. Okay, so this is what our shirt is going to look like right here. We can go ahead and move those guys to the side. Doesn't really matter. Okay. And then we're going to go here and click make it. Just like that. Okay. So now that we have our images um, ready to go, what the program is going to do is put the image into this black box right here. And this black box basically tells the, the Cricut where to cut. Okay. So um, it's, it's letting the Cricut know that there's an image in here that it needs to cut. This line right here, you won't see this. This will not be printed. This black line right here. This will not be printed. The only line that will be printed is this bold black line right there and um you want to make sure that um you align your paper on your cutboard exactly how it is aligned on this cutboard right here okay so then what you're going to go ahead and do is click on oh one more thing do not mirror do not mirror um your images because the paper that we're using it is uh, going to be placed on your t-shirt face up. So you do not need to mirror. Okay. So what you're going to go do is click continue. And then you're going to click right there on send to printer. And because I'm on my tablet, my printer isn't going to show right here. Again, like I said before, I have already recorded this. I have no idea where the recording is. The clip is, I have no idea. So what I'm doing right now is on my tablet now, and I'm just recording this specific part over. So with that being said, this tablet isn't connected to my printers um, in my office. Okay will do is click on printer and you will find your inkjet printer here in this area here and then once you do that you're going to make sure that it's only one copy and then me personally i keep my bleed on i always keep my bleed on because um i don't want to have any i don't want the edges to be white Okay, I don't want the edges to be white, so I um, put that bleed on just so it has, it's like a safety, uh, like a safety ring around your, your image. It's just a little bit extra ink that goes around your image so that just in case if the 
the Cricut uh, cutter does not cut perfectly, you'll still have um, ink there to cover. But yeah, so I always have my bleed on. And in this case, um, I do not use the system dialog because my printer has been uh, printing the colors out pretty good. So I don't need to go in and adjust any of the, the vibrance or anything like that. Um, so I haven't been using my system dialog. The only time I do use it is if maybe I print something and the colors aren't uh, coming out the way I like. That's when I would go in and I would choose system dialog. And then what it would do when you push print, it will allow you to go in your printer preferences and change um, or manipulate the uh, the print the print the printer settings. So we don't need to do any of that. And um, all we need to do now is click print. Well, what you would do is click print. So I'm not going to do that um, right now because. As I said, it's not connected to my printer. And again, this is um, um, me recording this a second time. Okay. All right. So let's get to what else we need to do in order to prepare ourselves for the coding. All right. So I already have one sheet out. I'm just going to go ahead and grab another sheet out of here. Face is so ashy. I just washed my face and didn't put anything on it, so it's a little ashy. But anyway, okay. Just a side note: I'm coming to you guys as authentic as possible. Like I don't have on any makeup. I am at home. I have on sweats. I have on just a regular t-shirt. My hair is pulled up. This is me every day. I don't want to be that YouTuber that has to be dressed up, has to have on makeup, has to do all this extra stuff because I want you to see my authentic self. And sometimes I don't feel like doing all of that. So I'm not gonna present to you guys that person or that side of me like that because when I wanna make a video and I wanna get out some content, I'm just gonna do that. I don't wanna have to worry about whether or not my eyebrows are done if I have on makeup or if I have on lashes or you know whatever as long as I am presentable and I look nice I am fine with that that's just a side note because I don't have time okay all right so anyway back to the regular scheduled program all right so I have two sheets we're gonna need only two sheets and we're going to come over here and we're going to turn our cricket on. Don't mind all the stuff on there. It looks dusty, but it is not because you want to know what it is. It's baby powder. My son thought it would be nice for him to make some smoke. That's what he told me, he was making smoke. So he had, he took the entire bottle of baby powder and just squeezed it until he couldn't squeeze any more out. And when I tell you baby powder was over every single thing in my work area, I mean every single thing it was all the way up here on top of my shelf on top of my cameras on top of even on the top of this maybe might be some more i got it all even on top of here and if you think i'm joking let's look up here on this ceiling fan okay it's not on the ceiling fan but yeah he had it everywhere because it's baby powder so anyway, this is the real me. This is the real, this is, this is my life. This is what it is, okay? All right, so, all right, so I have, what you're going to need is um, an inkjet printer. And um, I have just a regular Canon. I think the, it's a TS, 
STS 3322. This is a regular at home, um, a regular at home inkjet printer. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna just load that in there. These two sheets. Sorry, I'm trying to. Let's put it down. I don't know how YouTubers be doing all that extra stuff, holding the camera. I can't do that. I mean, I can. I just don't want to. All right. So anyway, I have the two sheets right here. I'm just gonna put that in there and get that ready. Let's go ahead and get a little tray out. Catch the paper when it comes out. We're gonna go ahead and print that. And as that prepare to print, let's I want to make sure that you guys understand the printing, the prints, I mean the press settings. So You hear the printer, the printer is getting itself ready to be to print. So inside each of these, um, it actually has two. So each inside each of these um, packages you have, the instructions on how to um, print, cut every single thing, press all the way down to the pressing, um, pressing it on your heat press. So for our, we're using a heat press. We're not using an, an iron. Um, and yes, you can also use this with an iron, um, but we don't, we, we're not doing that. We're gonna use our heat press. So for the heat press instructions, it wants us to set our, our press at 374 degrees. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you the heat press here. Go ahead and turn that on. Let me move this down. Okay. And where did I have it already set at? I'm not sure. So we're going to go ahead and set. Hello? Oh, that's because I got it down. <laughs> Don't. All right, set it. All right, so I think I must have uh, already printed something the last time. So what it said, 374 degrees. I have mine set at 300, sorry y'all, 375 degrees. And at 14 seconds, but let's see, ours, this says 12, I think. So we're gonna put that, move that down to 12 seconds and go ahead and set it. Okay, sorry, I made a mistake and pushed it twice. Oops, did you got You didn't see any of that. So anyway, we have our set now at 375 degrees for 12 seconds. And as you see, it is rising as we speak. So we're gonna let that um, do what it needs to do. And we're gonna go ahead and get our cutting mat. <laughs> for cricket bless you i'm sorry i didn't i wasn't paying attention so, i said bless you i need to stop okay bless you you're welcome i know i'm sorry excuse me all right so I'm going to use an old mat because I don't want this paper to stick too well. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't because the newer mats, um, the newer mats are really sticky and this paper is, it's paper. So I don't want it to peel off on the mat. So, all right. So. As you can see, look at those colors. That's why I didn't want to adjust anything because as I said before, it has been doing a pretty good job of using the system's um, settings as is. So that is really nice. You see that? 
Okay. This is an old mat, as I said before. I didn't want to use a newer mat because the newer mats have way too much grip. And as I said, this is actually this is paper. It's it's not vinyl. Um, it's paper, and I don't want the newer mats with that that extreme grip to peel any of this off. So we're gonna use our old mat. Um, and this is actually a light grip mat anyway, but um, we're gonna use this mat to um, cut this out. All right, and when you go to put this on your, your mat, you wanna make sure that, <clears throat> you wanna make sure that it is the exact way it is shown on the Cricut because that is what is, um, that is what the Cricut understands to cut. It's that right there. So on the Cricut, it has the image facing this way. So we're gonna go ahead and put that as close as possible to the corner of our mat and line it up as perfectly as possible because we wanna make sure that our Cricut cuts where it needs to cut so yeah, so I always just go around the edge like that on the white part, not the black part, just in case it some for some reason smudges. I always touch only the white, not the printed part because you don't want to smudge anything. So I think it's on there pretty good. Um, it's again, I said this is the light grip. And I do that specifically because I don't want the paper to rip. So let's move our Cricut out from the wall just a little bit. Like that. So we have some space. Okay. And right now, if you are new to Cricut, um, yes, if you're new to Cricut, you know that when it's ready for you to upload, I mean, uh, uh, load your mat, this is what will bleed. These little arrows right here. Is this is an indication to let you know it's okay now to load your mat. So you guys, one thing before we um, go ahead and start cutting is to make sure you have your Cricut and your software set on um, iron on. Right here it's set on iron on and on our computer on our cricket it's also set to iron on all right so let's go ahead and push that but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed think you're something out of now that it's done cutting our arrow button, which is to unload, is blinking. All you do is just go ahead and click on that. So, now that we have that cut, on the computer, it's going to show um, that the second um, image is ready to print. And as we did like the first one, we're just going to go and do the same thing and click on send to printer. We have our cannon selected. We're only gonna make one copy. Our bleed is on and no, we are not using the system dialog. And then we just go ahead and play, um, press print. <laughs> Let's go over to the heat press. Okay guys, so now we are all set up at the printer, I mean at the heat press, we're ready to go. We have our t-shirt right here. 
Um, as I stated before <laughs> about the powder, you see that? There's some another trace of powder here on my on my heating pad. <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry about it because we're using a white shirt um, right now, so uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't cause any damage. So what I like to do, let me scoot this back just a little bit so you guys can see. What I like to do is fold my t-shirts in half like that and I fold it I make sure that I fold and the collar is even the collar the shoulders are even this gives me um, a perfect fold in the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and lay that on there like that just so I can get a a good line. Press that down just a little bit for a couple seconds. And then pull it back up. And as you see, it gives a perfect line down the middle to give you an idea of where your image needs to be placed. So we're going to go ahead and place that on our press like that. So you can see a little bit better. Okay. On our press. And as we were going to do before, like I said, this is going to take up a lot of the shirt, which is what I wanted it to do. Um, because I wanted it to pretty much cover um, his entire shirt in the front. So, because this, is, this part is going on the back, we're going to press this first. There was powder on this yes, paper. Yes, wow. And you know why? Please be quiet. Be quiet to me. <sighs> so there's some powder on here. Which and it's coming off, so that's great. <laughs> Those colors look great. Look at that. Love it. So you don't, um, one thing about this, you do not need to do an extra press to make sure that it's on there. And what I also like to do is once I press it, I like to give it a little bit of a tug just so that we have it makes sure that we have that good stretch okay and it feels very soft um it does have a little bit of a sound when you touch it i mean when you rub it but it's nothing um annoying or anything like that it's very soft it is very soft very soft all right, so let's go. Okay, so now that we have our uh, t-shirt printed, I just wanna go back over the things that you will need. 
um, in order to uh, successfully create um, something like we did today. So again, you wanna make sure you have a uh, inkjet printer. Any home inkjet printer should work. Uh, make sure you have your ink uh, enough ink in there so that you don't have any problems um, with the color when it prints out like we did on the T here. You see how it's kind of light on the T and we have a nice vibrant Y. That's because it's time for me to um, add some more, uh, replace the ink cartridges in there. Um, but yeah, so make sure you have a um, inkjet printer, any any home inkjet printer will do. Um, you want to make sure you have your transfer paper. We use the PPD um, for dark garments. However, you can use this on light or dark garments. And so we are. We got our inkjet printer. We have our paper, a transfer paper, um, and then our heat source. So you want to make sure that you have either a heat press or in this case with these you can actually use an iron so anyway you want to have your heat source your paper your inkjet printer and then of course um your cricut i have the cricut explore air 2 yeah that's about it so yeah uh, i hope that you guys enjoyed me today I was all over the place as far as my camera goes because I did not prop it up properly on the, um, what's the thing called? The tripod, excuse me. At this point, I was done, lol. I have no idea what happened to the rest of this clip. Thank you so much for watching. Please push that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.